everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. As you can see, we're starting off in a bit of a strange place today because I was talking to Lottie about building a cafe and she said we have to start building it right away. So I figured it would be a shame not to share it with all of you. So here we are and we're going to get started building the cafe. Here we are. A cute little cafe will be perfect here. And look at the potential water view. Well, enough daydreaming. Now we need to actually build it. We can start on the exterior design while Nico and Wardell focus on setting up a beachfront dining area. Ooh, they're going to be eating outside as well? Okay, what sort of colours do I want to go with? I love the little sign outside, it's so cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go with something like this. It gives me the roost vibes, but not too much. It's just a very cute, cosy exterior, I think. Great, it looks wonderful. With that taken care of, let's head inside. Alright, now I've got to work on making the interior cute and cosy. Yay! Be sure to press right and look in the order tab to see all the requirements. Now, beyond just the basic requirements, it's so important to get the feel of the place right. That's where great lighting comes in. You can press left to access custom lighting options. You can change both the colour and the intensity of the lighting. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, design a cafe! I'm so excited, so what sort of stuff do we need? A cash register, a table and four chairs. Okay. One of the most important choices is which cash register I go for because this will determine the entire aesthetic, I guess, and feel of the place. Do I want to go a retro sort of feeling of this antique cash register? It's so cute. I love it in white. I do really want it to be cute and cozy, like Lottie said. So maybe the antique set is a good idea. I think it'll go well with the cash register. And you guys know I love the ranch set, so maybe we could do a combination of those. And let's see what sort of stuff we can do with this new lighting feature. You can now make changes to the colour and the intensity of the lighting. Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many. Okay. I think orange is probably a good sort of lighting to go with because it feels really warm. But I don't want it to be like too yellowy, you know? Hi everyone, again. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a voiceover for most of this video because I actually designed this cafe ages ago, way before Christmas time. I had so many plans for Christmas videos that I had to just leave this one and post it after Christmas. So in this video, I ended up talking about a lot of things that aren't really relevant anymore, like Christmas and the holiday season. So I decided with this video, I'll mainly be doing a voiceover. I hope you guys don't mind that you didn't get much of me talking in the present moment, but you'll get to see me in the present moment slash past moment again at the end when I show Lottie and do the tour and take a picture and everything. Hopefully you guys don't mind me just chatting over this. So with this cafe, I was actually really struggling on what sort of theme I wanted to go for. As you guys saw at the beginning, I really wanted to go with this like rustic feeling. But then we had the wallpaper options and I really liked this dark wallpaper that had loads of windows on it. I thought that that gave off the cafe vibe best. And because that wallpaper was quite dark, it kind of threw off the rustic feeling of the cafe a little bit. And so I also really wanted it to be super colourful. So I was trying to create something both rustic and cosy, but also bright and colourful. And I think you can definitely tell with the end result that I was trying to sort of blend these two themes together. And honestly, I do think this build could have been a little bit more aesthetic and pretty. So I might go back and redesign this cafe at some point and I'll show you how I do that. But at the time when I recorded this, the style I went with made me really happy. And I just really wanted the cafe to seem like a super safe and welcoming space for everyone. I think at the time, because I was just thrown into it, because Lottie didn't give me a choice, I also hadn't had a chance to like plan out how I wanted this to look. I wasn't sure if I was going for like a bakery, a general cafe, a restaurant. I had no idea what I was really doing and maybe I'm being too harsh on myself. I've just stared at this build for so long that I've decided that I don't really like it anymore. <laughs> And yeah, I think it's probably fine. And I'm trying to convince myself that I'm just doing that thing that artists do where you create a piece of art and then you stare at it for so long that you just start to hate it. But it's actually great and it's fine. Um, so please let me know your honest thoughts on this in the comments. If you don't really like it, that's okay. Because honestly, I'm struggling to see what I was doing here myself. I mean, I like it, but I think, I don't know, it's just giving off a strange vibe for me. I do really like how this came out because I was trying to make a cafe that would be like an LGBT lgbtq plus safe space i wanted it to seem like it was owned by an lgbtq plus couple not that the animals in animal crossing ever speak about stuff like that but it was just in my head i really wanted it to be a safe and welcoming space for everyone and so that's why i really wanted to go something colorful and i thought of the name of the cafe while i was building i was like i want to call this cafe rainbow cafe we're just gonna make it so cute and colorful and rainbow but then there was this massive part of me that was like wanting to create a rustic really cute little bakery style cafe and so i just combined 
combine the two. I think it ended up looking really cute and it is really cozy in there. And after you build the cafe in Happy Home Paradise, you can go visit it all the time and order food, which is so cute and adorable, by the way. So I love going in there and ordering food. And I love the two villages that I chose to work here. I think they're so cute together. As you can see, I was using a lot of wood tones because I thought it would make it super warm and inviting. I combined the ranch chairs with the antique slash classic table. I still call it the classic set just because of the old Animal Crossing games. This was also very loosely based off a cafe in the town where my secondary school was. This is so specific, I know, but there was this really cute little tea house slash coffee shop cafe in the town where my secondary school was and I used to go there sometimes with my friends. Let me just go there and get a tea and a cake or something. It's really tiny because as you guys know, I live in the UK in the countryside. So most of the buildings are very old, little cottages and stuff like that. So it was a very small little house that had been converted into a cafe and all the furniture and the layout of this cafe is based around it actually because the little table and chairs by the window is the space where I used to sit with my friend and the sofa in the corner that was also based off a few cafes I've been to in my town that I live in now. I really love it when cafes have like sofas and stuff and you can sit there and be cozy and so I really wanted this to be a super cozy space for my villagers and for me obviously. <laughs> And I completely forgot that after this, I was going to get to build a restaurant. So with the cafe, I was just going cafe theme and I was thinking for a restaurant, I was going to go like fancy restaurant, you know, like somewhere you'd go out to eat like a really fancy meal. Because I remember when I designed the restaurant in Happy Home Designer, that's exactly what I did. But I didn't actually record decorating the restaurant in the game, but I will show you it at some point in a later Happy Home Paradise video. But I didn't end up going with a fancy restaurant in the end. I went with just like a really cute little place to eat. I called it an eatery and I made it all green and because I made that that's when I started to realize that in this build I was a bit all over the place. I definitely definitely want to come back to this cafe and rebuild it and turn it into a little bakery um, because then it has a specific theme and it's not just a cafe that serves food and desserts and coffee and everything because I think that's what I was trying to go for and I couldn't decide specifically on whether it's going to be a coffee shop, a bakery, an ice cream shop or a place to just eat. I couldn't figure that out but I definitely think I want to go for bakery and so I definitely want to redesign this at some point hopefully you guys would like to see that um, but I do like how it turned out in the end I was struggling with the kitchen for a long time because I couldn't get the design exactly right I wanted to block off the kitchen but not completely block off the kitchen because it's not often you're in a cafe and you get to see the chef like access the fridge and make the food and I just think that's a part of a cafe I'd usually like blocked off so I wanted to put a wall there to cover the fridge and the sink and everything but I also wanted it to be open so you could see the cakes and the ice creams and everything so I did struggle for a little bit on the placement of the kitchen and how I wanted it to look and the colour scheme as well was something I was struggling with because like I said I wanted it to be rainbow and colourful but also rustic. I think I managed to get a lot of colour in here by adding the bright yellow shelves, the flowers, the ice cream cake and another thing I did as well which I think made it super colourful was the lampshades. I used quite a few of them in multiple different colours and I really like how it looked in the end. If you're someone that loves colourful builds I think you'll like this but if you're someone who likes just a set colour scheme and no variants from that um, this might be a bit too busy and a bit too much for you which I think is absolutely fair enough. So I did add a ton of plants to this place because as you guys know I love adding plants to my builds and I think plants just make a place feel so breezy and cozy and lovely and bright and happy and I wanted the place to just be full of decorations. I thought it'd give off the vibe that like everything in the cafe was sort of an antique or found at a charity shop. I used quite a few little lights on the walls to make things really bright. One thing I did that I really liked in this build and I later used in a few villager homes is I put LED lights across the entire wall. Yes, I know that's like a TikTok trend. People put LED lights all across their ceiling if they're like a gamer, you know, but I thought I really like the LED lights that go all around the top of the room in rainbow colors. I decided to customize each one to be different color of the rainbow and they'd go in a pattern. And I just thought it made the place look so cute. That's my favorite part about this build probably. One of my other favorite things in this build is the cookie rug. I just really wanted to use this rug because it really reminds me of the sweet set from New Leaf and I love that furniture series. That furniture series would have been perfect 
for this build. Hopefully they add that into the game at some point. But I was so happy that I got a chance to use this rug because I typically wouldn't ever use this in my own home. And I don't think there's many villagers houses that it would sue either. So, so a little cafe is the perfect place to use this I think. I put a little painting on the wall and I customised it to have the picture of a pancake because I thought it looked so cute. Like this is what we're selling today, some pancakes. I don't know, I just thought it looked so cute and really brings the cafe together. Other than the little tables and chairs and the sofa cosy area, I also decided to add a few stools at the countertop so if someone's just popping in waiting for some food to take away or waiting just for a cup of coffee they can sit there if they like. And I put some sugar and milk by the cash register so anyone can go up there and grab any extra sugar or milk they want for their drinks. I was very, very excited to use the new food items because if you guys have been following me for a while you know I'm obsessed with the food items in Animal Crossing. I haven't had much chance to use so many of them yet so I was really excited. Another thing you guys would know if you followed me for a while is I love croissants and I was so excited that one of these little breakfast trays had croissant on it and I have since put one of those in my own island because as you guys know I'm obsessed with croissants and so I was very very happy to include croissants in this little cafe I just think it's so cute and the little afternoon tea tray with all the cakes and sandwiches as well I just love that item and it's so cute and lovely I also decided to put some ottomans slash stalls in the cafe for anyone that has an extra person coming with them to eat or if there's not enough chairs or anything like that like I said I did want it to seem kind of mismatched and like everything was sort of grabbed from a charity shop and so I thought the little ottomans also added a bit of that vibe I made it just seem super cozy and lovely one of my other favourite items in this build is the bulletin board, customised to be all flowery and colourful. It really brightens the cafe up, it sort of looks like they're maybe celebrating Pride Month in here, or they're talking about some money they've donated to charities or something, and I just think it makes the cafe seem like a really great place. I don't know what it is about the bulletin board, but I just think it is the heart and soul of this cafe, and I cannot explain to you why, but I just love this bulletin board. I also got to use the orange clock, which I've never ever used. I love the fruits furniture, as you guys know. I used to be obsessed with the citrus set when I was younger but I don't really get a chance to use the orange clock and so I thought this really colourful cute cafe just suits an orange clock perfectly so I had to use it. <laughs> oh I just realised as well this is probably going to be my first video of 2022 other than my best bits video so I hope you guys have had a lovely new year. I hope you're having a lovely 2022 so far. I don't know if you can tell but I've got a bit of a cold. Other than that I'm doing really great. I've been reading loads. I've been playing lots of games just for fun and I do have some nice videos coming up for you guys that I've recorded. I've been decorating a house for a very special character which I think you guys will enjoy and I also played a bit more Cozy Grove so if you've watched that series Hopefully you'll look forward to the next episode. If you've designed your cafe in Happy Home Paradise and you'd like to show me it, please feel free to tag me in your pictures on Instagram and Twitter because I'd love to see your creations. And I'd be really interested to see how it was you designed this build. I've seen so many different sorts of aesthetics and designs online and I'd just love to see all of your creations. So feel free to tag me in pictures of your own cafe because I'd love to see how it looks. And please let me know in the comments what you thought of this cafe because I don't know if I'm just being too harsh on myself or if it actually does look weird or if it looks fine please let me know because I'm genuinely just not sure how I feel about this so please do let me know in the comments what you think of this design I don't know if it's any good or not and I just really want an honest opinion so please let me know okay so we're done here we are in the little cafe hopefully you guys like how this turned out this is actually so fun to design let me give you a tour it's very warm and cozy and inviting I'd love to come here and eat all of the different colors might be a bit overwhelming but I really like it I really love the little pink divider there's really cute seats by the window so many flowers and shelves and pictures on the wall we have an afternoon tea set and some coffee and sandwiches. We have so many colourful lights and we have cakes for sale and croissants. Can you believe there was a croissant item? I love it so much. And we have a little takeaway box, fresh fruit and bread and little slices of cake and there's stuff cooking on the oven. And I really like how this turned out. It feels so warm and inviting in here. And I really hope you guys like it. So why don't we show Lottie? So let's decide who'll be working here. <laughs> Camo Frog. I'm sorry Camo Frog, you're not giving the vibes of this cafe. I definitely think we should choose Blair because she's so cute and her little chocolate button nose is so adorable. And maybe Ali? These two would be such a cute couple. Okay, I'll go call the cafe staff. Wait, before we do this, we need to give our new cafe a name. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it Rainbow Cafe. I think it suits all the colourful items in this one. Great, we've got ourselves a name. Hooray! <laughs>
Please welcome your new staff. I also found some customers to take the place for a spin. I can't believe how gorgeous this cafe turned out to be. It's going to look so good in photos. And speaking of photos, once you're done, let's meet outside and get a celebratory photo. See you there. Look how cute it is of all the villagers here. Oh my goodness, and I can dress up in a cute cafe uniform as well. This is so cute, oh my goodness. Look how lovely the cafe is now. Oh, I'm so in love with this. It feels like such a nice, sunny, happy place. Let's take that photo. Then let's head outside. The beachfront dining area should be ready by now. We're gathered here to take a special celebratory photo of Rainbow Cafe. Yay! Thank you very much. We have a new cafe open and ready for business. Our island is on the map. Yay, Rainbow Cafe! I just know we'll keep growing. Alright, we need to hear from the person in charge of decorating Rainbow Cafe. Lulu, a few words? I'm so happy! Thank you! Next up, a comment each from Nico and Wardell, who worked on the beachfront dining area. Oh, um, I think it'd be nice if the cafe gets lots of visitors. I'm not used to speaking in public. <laughs> Happy to help! Aw, oh, Wardell's so shy. Thank you both very much! And last but not least, let's take that celebratory photo. Okay, here goes! I kind of wish I made the outside of the cafe a bit more colourful now too. Okay, say cheese! Cheese! <laughs> I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of this photo, Lulu? It's perfect. I agree. I think it's perfect too. That'll do it. Safe travels, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Welcome back. Our little eatery is bustling, and it's only the first day. It surely helps that everything on the menu sounds amazing. Seriously, I had a hard time keeping my tummy from grumbling while we were taking that photo. If only I could stay as calm, cool, and collected as Wardell. I was hungry too. <laughs> I guess that makes three of us. I could hardly stand how delicious everything smelled. Oh, we should all go to the cafe together as customers and just relax sometime soon. My treat. Yeah? That would be so much fun. Thanks, Lottie. You bet. Oh, that was fun to daydream for a moment. Now it's back to serious business, like your paycheck. I know how hard you worked on this, and I'm hoping this feels like a generous reward, Lulu. So without further ado, please accept your 25,000 pocky. Whoa, thank you. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten you two. Nico, Wardell, I have a nice bonus for all your work on the beachfront dining area. Thank you for all your hard work. <sighs> I'm just so pleased to get another business off the ground. Everyone looks so happy. It was a great reminder about why we do what we do. Bringing a smile to someone's face is everything. I'm so glad we all got to experience that together. These are tears of joy, everyone. Pure joy. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. Now that we're done with the cafe, we can build a restaurant at any time. I'm hoping we can collaborate again, but there's no rush. Just let me know when you're ready to get started. And who knows, if we keep building our vacation home business, maybe even more opportunities will arise. It's so exciting. Our vision for this paradise is really coming to life. Okay, do you want to call it a day? Or do you want to keep working a bit longer? I'm finished for today, Lottie. Alright, take it easy and rest up. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me for another Happy Home Paradise episode. I'm absolutely loving playing through this DLC, and I'm so excited to build even more things for all of you. Look at Cherry just sat outside in the eating area. That's so cute. I can't wait to see our Happy Home Paradise island grow even more, and I'm just so excited to design so many things of you all. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Before I go, I do just want to say an extra special thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me this month. All your support means the world to me and helps me out so, so much so thank you so much for everything and to the rest of you thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do consider leaving a like and subscribing only if you want to though please let me know in the comments what you thought of my cafe i hope you have a super lovely and cozy day please remember to take care of yourself thank you all so much for watching and i'll speak to you in my next video bye <laughs>